Judgment in the appeal, Bus Camina Ghost against AES Bus Camina Ghost. Lord Mans will announce the decision of the court. The issue on this appeal is whether a party to an agreement to arbitrate disputes in London is entitled to an injunction restraining the other party from commencing court proceedings about such disputes in a foreign jurisdiction outside Europe. By outside Europe, I mean outside the EU, where the Brussels regulation applies, and outside the further European countries which are party to the parallel Lugano Convention. The present parties are respectively the owner and operator of a hydrocarbon power plant in Kazakhstan. The concession agreement between them contained a London arbitration clause, which it is common ground was subject to English law. However, some years ago, the owner obtained a judgment of the Kazakh courts purporting to declare this arbitration clause invalid. And since then, the owner has maintained a right whenever it wishes to litigate any issues arising under the concession in the Kazakh courts. As a result, the operator of the concession has brought English court proceedings seeking a declaration that any such foreign proceedings are in breach of the arbitration clause and an injunction restraining their commencement. That is all the operator is interested in. It has no interest itself in commencing any arbitration proceedings nor, of course, does the owner of the concession propose to do so. Mr Justice Burton in the Commercial Court held that the Kazakh court decision purporting to hold the arbitration clause invalid is not binding in England. The only issue now before the Supreme Court is whether the English court is in these circumstances entitled to grant a declaration and an injunction, as both Mr Justice Burton and the Court of Appeal have held that it can and should. The owner of the concession argues that the grant of such relief by an English court is contrary to the terms, scheme, philosophy and parliamentary intention of the Arbitration Act 1996. According to it, the operator should bring arbitration proceedings, should seek an order from the arbitrators and then should seek to have that order made into a court order in court proceedings. The owner relies upon cases in which English courts have refused to grant an injunction where arbitration proceedings were on foot. The Supreme Court holds, in a judgment given by myself, that nothing in the 1996 Act removes the court's long-standing and well-recognised jurisdiction to grant relief against the wrongful commencement of court proceedings outside the EU and Lugano member states in the present situation where neither party has begun or proposes any arbitration. It would be surprising if the 1996 Act had achieved such a result without express language and without any prior discussion in the departmental advisory reports which preceded it. Contrary to the owner's submissions, a typical London arbitration clause contains both a pro positive promise to arbitrate any disputes in London and an often silent but equally important concomitant negative obligation not to litigate them elsewhere. The latter negative obligation is enforceable even though no arbitration proceedings are on foot or intended. The 1996 Act is not a complete code of arbitration law and it does not contain a comprehensive set of rules for the determination of all jurisdictional issues regarding arbitration clauses in all situations. Section 1C provides only that, quote, in matters governed by Part 1 of the Act, the Court should not intervene except as provided by this Act. Nothing in Part 1 of the Act governs the present situation, and even in relation to matters within Part 1, the word should, chosen deliberately in contradistinction to the word shall, uh, indicates a need for caution rather than an absolute prohibition. The English Court's power to grant declaratory and injunctive relief derives not from Section 44 e of the 1996 Act, or indeed any other section of that Act, but from its general powers contained as regards injunctive relief in Section 37 of the Senior Courts Act 1981. Civil Procedure Rule 62.2, .2, as currently in force, is wide enough to permit service out of the jurisdiction of a claim for an injunction to enforce the negative aspect of a London arbitration clause. This appeal is therefore dismissed and the judge's order is upheld. Thank you. The court is now adjourned.